talks about how he identified Hero Honda, which is Hero Motor now, as the biggest investment and why the Maruti IPO in 2003 was a great milestone in his career. Not much was happening in the economy. The sector too was, uh, you know, very, very uh, narrow. Uh, there were a few uh, companies, uh, Bajaj Auto for one, Tata Motors for the other, who were considered to be the only investment behemoths. companies as far as, and the behemoths of uh, the market, uh, the equity, uh, the auto sector at that and point. And you picked the David out of the Goliaths? Uh, yes, it was a, it, uh, you know, it was a, the good part was that it was an MNC. There was a lot of flavor around MNC. However, this was not a very liked MNC given that people didn't really like uh, Japanese, Japanese MNC, uh, MNCs yes. to that extent. But here, there, are, there is something which I, wherein I saw a spark. I thought that there was something which was going to happen here. Uh, they were coming out of a situation of uh, having underinvested for a very long period of time, and there was this whole uh, uh, effort to double capacity in a short period of time. After, it was coming after a long gestation period. I thought this was uh, the starting point, but that was not where uh, that was not where the story lay. The story, the story was lay in the migration from scooters, scooters to, to motorcycles. motorcycles. Absolutely, you caught that. Yes, I think that is, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, I started to flesh out the story in my mind and uh, I used to have these repeated sessions with uh, uh, Ramdev ji, I remember, uh, uh, late into the evenings and I think that's how, uh, you know, it came about that uh, this is a story not about the capacity expansion but this whole element of uh, mobility, mobility was so, uh, was so constrained at that point in time in a country like India and especially in the uh, rural markets. Scooter was only a largely urban city-led phenomenon. So uh, I think we try to rationalize that, you know, this is a product which can become large. Uh, how large, we probably didn't even, even we didn't really have the vision to think that uh, what was a 90-10 scooter motorcycle market would become a 10-90 uh, scooter motorcycle. And the stock went flipped. from what cap, market cap to what market cap? I think at that point in time it would have been about a 500 crore market cap and today it is at 66,000 crores, so it's a 130 odd. Uh, Stunning. Uh, stunning, absolutely stunning. And we never thought that, it is only over a period of time that we realize that there is a, there's a serious level of value migration which is happening. Uh, and Bajaj didn't happening. get this transition from uh, Surprising, sc yes. scooter to motorcycle. What does that tell you about the Goliaths in the industry? Uh, it's just that sometimes you might probably get myopic. We need to guard against that. Uh, you might probably get, uh, you know, uh, complacent. Uh, complacent. Uh, and uh, that is something which uh, corporates need to guard, at, uh, guard against at every point in time, even more so nowadays because disruptions come almost every day. So uh, I think that's what probably caught uh, Bajaj Auto a little off guard. You led an IPO uh, or were part of an IPO in which uh, your boss said a juggernaut has started rolling and yet it didn't happen. Tell me about that. That was the Maruti IPO in 2003. I think it was, uh, you know, it was almost an IPO which didn't happen as you rightly said. It was called off. Uh, 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 about to be called off uh, a week prior to its launch. Uh, I was the lead uh, auto analyst at that point in time at uh, Kotak, and Kotak was the, uh, you know, the, the uh, lead manager. Uh, so there was a decent amount of responsibility on us to ensure that. Okay, so that's some of the 